Professor Jane C. Ginsburg is the Morton L. Janklo Professor of Literary and Artistic Property Law at Columbia Law School, as well as the Faculty Director of the Kernaghan Center for Law, Media, and the Arts, which contributes to a broader understanding of the legal aspects of creative works of authorship. Her efforts have helped make Columbia Law School the preeminent center for the study of intellectual property that it is today. Professor Ginsburg is a true powerhouse in copyright and trademark law. She is extremely prolific, having authored or co-authored numerous papers, casebooks, and even a copyright treatise. The scope of her influential and cutting-edge work reaches beyond the borders of the United States. She has lectured and published in countries around the globe and received international acclaim, including being named a corresponding fellow of the British Academy and an honorary fellow of Emmanuel College at the University of Cambridge. In the midst of all of this, she still finds the time to provide warm, personable mentorship to her students and indulge in her hobbies of cooking and throwing a mean cocktail party. It is with great honor and pleasure that we welcome Professor Ginsburg as an inductee in the CHIPS Hall of Fame. Professor Ginsburg, you are truly an inspiration to all of us. On behalf of the co-founders, board, and entire CHIPS community, thank you for your many contributions. Congratulations, Professor Ginsburg. The CHIPS Award is a wonderful recognition of Jane's contributions to intellectual property and an award that is richly deserved. In 34 years of married life and the resulting 34 years of dinners together, I think there have been very few at which copyright was not a subject of conversation. Jane really cares about the questions that she's working on. One of the remarkable things about Jane's career is that she has had a great influence not only in the United States but abroad as well. She's been invited to lecture all over the world, and she's published in academic journals in many different countries. Her role as a teacher and mentor has also transcended national boundaries. I think it's indicative of her far-reaching influence that the professors at Oxford and Cambridge, who hold the chairs in intellectual property at their universities, both studied with Jane at Columbia before starting their academic careers. It is also noteworthy that Jane has spent her entire academic career at Columbia Law School. In an era when academics move from one law school to another with about the frequency with which major league ballplayers switch teams, Jane has remained loyal to Columbia. You might think of her as the, as the Derek Jeter of the law school world. When Jane arrived at Columbia, there were only two faculty members interested in copyright, Jack Kernikin and Jane. Today, thanks in large part to Jane's efforts, Columbia Law School is one of the principal centers in the United States for the study and promotion of intellectual property, and Columbia's Kernikin Center, where Jane is ably supported by such talented colleagues as June Besick and Pippa Lowengard, has emerged as an important voice in supporting the rights of authors and other creators. Outside the classroom, Jane has a well-deserved reputation as a wonderful cook. She learned to cook from her father, himself a marvelous chef, and, and uses cooking as a way to relax, the way that other people might turn on the television or listen to music. Cooking and copyright intersect in Jane's life in the numerous dinner parties we have hosted our apartment over the years at which so many of the most illustrious practitioners and academics in copyright have enjoyed Jane's culinary masterpieces. Congratulations, Jane, on this terrific honor. Now. Go ask the Dean for a raise. Hi Mom, congratulations on your induction into the CHIPS Hall of Fame. I'm sorry that I will probably never take an IP class while in law school, but I'm still proud to have a Hall of Famer in my family. And it is pretty cool when I see some of my friends are reading some of your work for their classes. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jane. You're a fabulous co-author, a wonderful traveling pet companion, a sommelier extraordinaire. Thank you for drawing the world's attention to the plight of the creative author and, of course, to our project on transnational litigation in the IP context. 
Well done. Jane is one of the senior women in the intellectual property field and probably the best known in the world of all the American intellectual property specialists. And she's done everything from studies of papal privileges uh, in the attics of the Vatican to uh, cutting edge new technology issues of the day. Uh, she's extremely prolific as a scholar and she also keeps up casebooks in copyright law and trademark law and uh, she's also a co-editor of several volumes of intellectual property readings uh, as well as a co-author of an international copyright treatise so I don't know where she gets all the energy and I don't know where she gets all the ideas uh, but Jane is absolutely indefatigable uh, I have to say I don't always agree in fact probably 80 percent of the time I don't agree with what she says but it is always a great pleasure to read her work uh, I always learn important things from her uh, and I'm absolutely delighted that she's receiving an honor and I wish her and her mother uh, and all of you very well Congratulations, Professor Ginsburg, on receiving the 2015 CHIPS Hall of Fame Award. Everyone at Columbia Law School knows that Professor Ginsburg is an excellent teacher and an innovative and prolific scholar. As her former student and research assistant, I know that she has another side, too. She is an excellent cook and throws a mean cocktail party. Professor Ginsburg, congratulations on your admission into the CHIPS Hall of Fame. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. Professor Ginsburg was generous with her time and with her insight. Uh, to all of her students, both in and outside of the classroom. She is a devoted scholar, humanist, and teacher who, in addition to teaching intellectual property, uh, teaches an introductory course in legal reasoning to one quarter of the incoming law students at Columbia each year, thereby setting them, I think, on uh, an excellent path to be successful law students and lawyers. Professor Ginsburg, of course, reaches students well beyond Columbia with her case books, her scholarship, and her other contributions to the literature. And I'm so very pleased that she's being honored today. I'm happy to congratulate Professor Ginsburg on her induction to the CHIPS Hall of Fame. Professor Ginsburg is rightfully known for her breadth of knowledge of intellectual property law and her keen analytical mind. It is with great pleasure that I congratulate Professor Ginsburg on this well-deserved honor. From her work with the Kernikan Center to her outreach to international copyright attorneys and thinkers to inviting students over to her house for cocktails and being incredibly involved in recruiting prospective students like myself, Professor Ginsburg is truly an incredible asset to Columbia Law School and really to the copyright community in general. Nobody deserves this award more. Um, many, many heartfelt congratulations. To a wonderful mentor and a wonderful teacher, congratulations on this well-deserved honor, Professor Ginsburg. I hope you enjoy the ceremony.